Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 1015 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm trying out one of the products from my November 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus Bag. So if you haven't seen my unbagging of that, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. But so what I have here is the Julep Eyeshadow 101 Cream to Powder Eyeshadow Stick that I got in the shade Bronze Shimmer. So this says naturally effective ingredients. So it's infused with vitamin E and vitamin C, which is really cool that my eyeshadow would have those beneficial ingredients. Oh wow, it says it's waterproof, crease proof, stay all day power. It's paraben free, cruelty free. Well, I am very interested in the fact that it says it doesn't crease because I have a lot of lines in my eyelids. So I'm gonna try this out without an eyeshadow primer. Here is how it looks. I mean, it looks like nice packaging. I love that it's twist up nice and easy. And then on the end, it has a smudger. But so it says, for best results, prime the smudger by applying the eyeshadow to the back of your hand and loading it onto the smudger prior to use. So, okay, well, I'm, I wanna go ahead and swatch this. Ooh, a very nice creamy formula and a really nice metallic brown shade, which is a shade that I use in a lot of eyeshadow looks. So this is a great shade to get. So here is what that swatch looks like. And now I'm gonna pick it up with that smudger. I mean, maybe it says to prep the smudger this way so that it doesn't remove the product because that truly did just wipe away completely the product. And that's not what you want. You want this to blend the product and not remove it. So interesting. Maybe, you know, I'll try it both ways, but I have a feeling it's gonna work better to blend it out with my finger. But so I'm gonna just go ahead and start applying it kind of all over the lid. However, I don't even feel like this really needs to be blended. Like, it looks good just drying it exactly where you want it. But now, let's try the blending method. Try it with my finger on this eye. It's a little bit more subtle than I was expecting, but that is not a bad thing. It does seem easy to blend. Feels like a cream, you know. And that is nice. I don't love it as an all over lid shade. I think maybe in a slightly lighter shade, I would see it as more of a wear alone single lid shade. But this I just don't feel like is super flattering for me. But this with other colors would be great. I kind of want to see how it is on the lower lash line, just kind of using it as like a Liner. Ooh, yeah. See, I really like that. I like a metallic, kind of smoked out lower lash line. I'm not into that black eyeliner pencil at all anymore. This is what I like, so I could definitely see myself using this as a daily eyeliner on that lower lash line because it really does help emphasize the eye, but it's nice and subtle, adds a little shine. And then let's see if I can smoke it out a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Okay, love this on the lower lash line. This might be the perfect go-to, really like any eyeshadow look daily lower lash line product. And I don't really have a daily lower lash line product that I can reach for that's super quick and easy to apply. So, oh my gosh, I love this for that. This isn't even how they described the use for it, but this is a perfect use in my opinion. And this is going to go onto my bathroom counter for my daily makeup for this to be my daily eyeliner. Love it. Okay, let's do it on the other eye. Ooh. 
because it looks great, just quick and easy, just like this. But then you can perfectly blend it out. And then that just kind of, because I have like creases here, just kind of help to smooth it out of that crease, get that perfect shape. Oh, I'm so excited. But now, just because I'm curious, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some just messy all over the lid and then try blending it with the tool here and see how that works. I mean, it, it seems to look actually exactly the same. Blend it out with the tool rather than my finger. So I think it really will just be personal preference. For the lower lash line, using the tool is so much better, much easier, more precise than using my finger. But for the lid, they look the same. But I would definitely do that tip of covering the blending end in some product so that you don't completely erase it. But, so here's how it looks. And it's pretty, but oh my gosh, am I so excited for this to be my daily eyeliner. And I don't know, it's kind of growing on me too, now that I have it all over my lids. Like I could definitely see this being like a travel product, a purse product, for just adding a little something to the eyes. Like it does look nice all over the lid, especially because it really is crease proof. And I'm actually very shocked by that because a lot of cream products settle into the creases. I shouldn't even say a lot of cream products, all cream eyeshadow products settle into my creases, but this one is not at all. And it really is supposed to be that cream to powder. But I don't know, it still has a little bit of like a stickiness, a little bit of that cream feel but it is not settling into any of those lines. So to me, that's like magic. I'm very impressed. I just feel like my daily makeup look is going to improve so much now that I'm actually going to be putting something on my lower lash line that will really emphasize my eyes. I could also see myself using this on the top lash line as well when I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. And then same thing, just blending it out a little bit on that top lash line for a daily eyeliner that's not too intense but still adds some emphasis to the eyes. So if you have this, let me know your favorite uses for it in the comments down below. But thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.